lot of thimble berries. Oh man, there's a lot of them. They're all ripe up there. We gotta, let me get this thing. We're at the top today and we're gonna keep going down the backside, but we got a good patch up here of uh, these thimble berries. They're basically like a wild raspberry almost. A little different, a little smaller. Let's get up in here and get, get some of the good ones here. Very, very similar to a raspberry. They grow pretty frequently here along like old logging roads. Um, they're delicious. They're sweet. Only a couple of them are are in right now, but this is a good patch. We got lucky. We got these things everywhere. What do you think? Here's a little update on Jed. Jed, sit. Hey, sit down. Good boy. So there's his eye. Let's see if we can get a shot. He probably won't sit still. He's pretty cranked up here. His eye's doing good. Some days it looks better than others, but like everything is healed. Like the trauma to his like actual eye socket is healed. Um, he can see something probably out of his eye. He can definitely, so like Liz covered his left eye the other day and I kind of maybe like eight inches away, I kind of was just like flicking my finger just in front of it and like doing like stuff like that. And he was kind of like flinching a little bit. So I think he might be able to see something out of it. I don't think he could have sensed it. Um, it was far enough away where he couldn't have felt anything. So he's doing pretty good. So we're at the landing just before the top. So the top of the mountain is up there. Now they're 100 feet, 200 feet. Um, so we're at like this little saddle and we're right on our property line. The train tracks, for those of you who pay attention, um, are our property line and the train tracks are right underneath me. They go directly through this mountain right here. And this road, was cut um i think it was probably cut in by the power line company we have that easement that i've talked about so this road loops back down to the back side of our property and we don't own all the way to the road down there but our neighbor has a gate on it and we're gonna put a gate at our property line because he's letting people go in and out of his gate and we don't want them to think that um, they have access to our whole mountain here also. In Idaho, it used to be that as an outdoorsman, you could be in the woods in, let's say you were on public property to start with, you know, where you're legally allowed to hunt and you stumbled upon someone else's property. If it wasn't posted and you didn't know, then it was the landowner's responsibility to let you know. They used to have to have um, posted signs you know, every 600 feet, I think it was. Now Idaho has changed that um, for the better. It's the outdoorsman's responsibility to know where they're at. And with that being said, other people haven't quite caught on to that and or they don't really care, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna go put a gate down at the bottom just to let people know that this is private property. You know, please don't come on here. Not just because we don't want people just venturing up here. Jed can be protective. If someone was to crest over this and come down, Jed would not be happy. Jed, he can be a very protective dog. So we don't want that happening. We just want to let people know that, you know, please don't come on here. So we'll head down this way. So in this, right now, I'll flip the camera around, but everything to the left is ours and everything to the right is somebody else's. It's the train tracks, that's the other side of the tunnel coming out right there.
so here we are at this little landing. I don't know how many people noticed, but on our way down, these things were everywhere. These little berries are just, they're everywhere on this mountain. So we'll have to do some sort of harvest on those and make something out of them. What we have going on here is this road here comes from the north heading south. Um, and that gate is down this way, maybe another half mile, three quarters mile. So people come up here. The railroad actually has an easement through my neighbor's property and the railroad can come down here to access their land. They actually have a meter down here and that was the reason that my neighbor put the gate in. He came back here one day and there was a guy living in a camper hooked up to the railroad's meter. So they, they kicked him out of here, obviously, because he was stealing power and he was trespassing. So they put the gate up. I was fortunate enough to get permission to access my land through their land. I think we're about on our property line. This road can still come around. And then where we just came from up here, we're just going to put a little gate in right here just so it's a little inconvenient for someone if they want to uh, try to get around it. I got these cedar poles that I'm going to be using. I was able to score these from a piece of state land where they did a clearing for the power lines and they dropped a lot of these trees and just left them. So I asked and got permission to take some of their cedar poles. I got four or five real nice stout cedar poles. Cedar is like an excellent wood. It's very weather resistant. So we're going to plant this straight into the ground with no weather uh, proofing, like no sort of material. We're gonna plant this straight into the ground and see how long it lasts. Kind of a little test. Color, we're getting to the next layer. I can tell you from a lot of years of living in Idaho, this dirt is crazy for up here. There is hardly any rocks in it. That hole is about two feet deep, hair more, two and a half feet deep, way down there. But this dirt, I didn't pull up a single rock. I don't think it's excellent dirt, but I think it is. So the way the, the creek is, the creek like flows around us naturally this way. There's a bend in the river and it flows around us like this. So like, I don't know if it was hundreds of thousands or millions of years ago, whenever this creek was a river, you know, and water, I'd probably be underwater. It probably pushed all this like softer material and just swirled it around kind of in this bend here. And I think that's why it's all like this because there's hardly any rocks in it. It's all like really fine stuff. Even when we were digging over there, eventually we hit bedrock, which was granite, but it's pretty easy digging back here. So it's excellent soil. What we're gonna do now is go back. I tried to get the gate on the four wheeler initially and it's a 10 foot gate and it did not work at all. So what I'm gonna do is we'll take the four wheeler back up and over and we'll get my truck and we'll uh, put the gate in my truck and bring my truck up and around through my neighbor's gate. elevation with a GoPro video. You guys don't know, I mostly use a GoPro to shoot all this. But that's pretty steep. We just gained 200 feet at least pretty quick.
some water with me, but we're gonna do a little berry picking. There is a lot over here. You're getting good sun right here. Good day. This is what we got to fix first. What I did here was we burned the burn pile. I should put a clip of that in. And then once it got going, um got a little close to the edge i had pushed it and i didn't realize that i had pushed it um pretty close to the hill so i grabbed my saw real quick to go and cut it was like this little brush that you see around here and uh anybody who knows chainsaws and cutting brush pretty dangerous trying to keep the chain on swinging it around with little thin thin pieces of twig and everything so i kicked the chain and just got water and started spraying it on there and it was fine it worked out good and i never fixed the chain because that was a month ago and i haven't needed my chainsaw since we've had other things so we'll put this back on here if you take that cover off um with your chain brake on it is a son of a gun to get it back on there so whoever has a 460 rancer if you ever take that cover off pull your brake back finally let me just tighten the chain let it roll a little bit make sure it's in there Oh man, look what I did. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. The teeth are all chunked off on this. It must have uh it must have spun inside there when I kicked the chain. Damn. That sucks. So I'll have to get a new chain for that. Even if I can get it in there, it's gonna skip every time it tries to hit right there. It'll ruin this saw. Damn, that sucks. Well, at least I got everything over here and I can unload it. We'll take my truck back and I guess we'll lock the gate and we'll go get Liz's little chainsaw and take the four wheeler back over. Come on. Come on. Good dogs. You can make it one that's lower. It was like nature's drive through. Pull right up. post we need so here's what I'm gonna do pull this guy out and we'll see how long the gate is it's a four foot gate um, and we have at least two feet of hole hopefully we have two man two six two and a half feet no two three so that's perfect If you guys haven't seen the video of me cutting down that tree with that little chainsaw, you should check it out. I'll try to put a link up here, but it's pretty impressive. That little Amazon chainsaw, I need to sharpen it, but it's not a bad deal. So I've stripped the bark off of this, and uh, this is the bigger end, the bottom end. I'm gonna drop that one in this hole. Seven left. Wow. We're doing this. 
Got this post roughly set. And where my shovel is, this is where the other one's going. You did this thing all day as a living. It would be so ripped. And I got a level. A workout what do you think june there it is it opens real tall on this side because of the angle of the road it is pretty plumb well uh i need to settle that post in i need to bring some water and pack it a little more but it works good you make it so you can get all the way through and we'll shut it Looks good. I think I haven't checked this yet, but let's see. Does reach? Look at that. So I'll get a lock. We can just lock that. And, uh, yeah. It's prime. Came out nice. Well, as always, thank you for watching. Look at this, we got a big spider on this one. Um, I said at the end of the last video that we'd be getting blocks, and uh, we are, but the uh, big box store is a little delayed, and I don't know if that's because of everything going on or what. As of right now, that's another six days out which kind of sucks because that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on blocks. That's building. That's how it goes. It doesn't always go as planned. But you make do. Make do with what you got. Let's see. We're just getting a little snack before we head back over. These guys, they're everywhere. I hope everybody's doing well with everything going on. And uh, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, Please hit that like button down at the bottom and subscribe for our future videos coming out. We're doing a uh, another concrete pour with some friends of ours. So stay tuned for that. That video is going to be coming out real soon.